I am deeply aware of the risks of any military action, no matter what limits we place on it. I want the American people to know that the use of force is not our first choice, and it's not a choice that I make lightly. But we cannot stand idly by when the tyrant tells his people that there will be no mercy, and his forces step up their assaults on cities like Benghazi and Nusrata, where innocent men and women face brutality and death at the hands of their own government. So we must be clear. Actions have consequences, and the writ of the international community must be enforced. That is the cause of this coalition. As a part of this effort, the United States will contribute our unique capabilities at the front end of the mission to protect Libyan civilians and enable the enforcement of a no-fly zone that will be led by our international partners. As I said yesterday, we will not, I repeat, we will not deploy any U.S. troops on the ground. As Commander-in-Chief, I have great confidence in the men and women of our military who will carry out this mission. They carry with them the respect of a grateful nation. I'm also proud that we are acting as part of a coalition that includes close allies and partners who are prepared to meet their responsibility to protect the people of Libya and uphold the mandate of the international community. I've acted after consulting with my national security team and Republican and Democrat leaders.